You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. I have a familiar face from cable TV. I have Monica Tavares from the Cape Verde Association. Welcome, Monica. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for being here. You guys have an exciting new event coming up. I guess we have Martin Luther King Day yes. happening in Brockton. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole weekend, okay? And mm -hmm. NAACP does an event. Uh, the temple used to. Now they're doing it in conjunction with Messiah Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. But from what I understand, you guys found out there was nothing on Martin Luther King Day itself. So you guys stepped up to the plate. Exactly. Once again, thank you, Mark, for having me here today. So that's the reason we are doing the event on the day off because there's nothing going on in the city. Mass is so used to, but now they're doing it in February. So we're like, okay, why not do something on the day off? As we know, this is a great man. There's a lot, you know what I mean, to talk about him and learn about him. So we're like, okay, let's do something we can have for the community so everybody can come in and celebrate the legacy of this great man. So Martin Luther King Day itself is Monday, January 18th. Yes. And where is the event and when is the event? Okay, so the event, <laughs> <laughs> so the event is Monday, January 18th on the day off, right? It's from 1 to 4 o'clock. It's a free event. And it's going to be at the Hall of St. Peter's Sign Church, like two, on 71 East Main Street. So it's like two minutes away from us. Okay. So that's where we're going to have the event. So the event, we're going to have a speaker. It's going to be the Pastor Harris. We're going to have some music, some food. And the kids, the children after school program, are going to recite some poems of, my, of, of Dr. King. Okay, so... Help me tie in Dr. King with the Cape Verde Association. I think this is very unique and very <coughs> novel. I had students in my speech class at Massasoit talk mm -hmm. about, and, I, and I'm going to botch it, Amilcar Cabral? Exactly. Okay. Uh, Toussaint Louverture and Martin Luther King. And they kind of wove all three of them in the same speech. Is that kind of yeah. the way you think about it? Yeah, you can say that. I mean, Dr. King, we all know, it was all about you no know, character. It doesn't matter what you look like in the outside. It's all about what, you, what matters in the inside. Us coming here, it's like we want a better life, you know, we want a better jobs, even though we're not from here, but we want to be treated fairly. So why not celebrate? And Amilcar Cabral, was, which is a, kind of Martin Luther King, they kind of like, they fought for the same thing, equality, justice, independence, all those, I mean, not independence because the United States was independent, but equal, it, treatment. equal treatment, you know, fair laws. Everybody needs to be treated equally the same way. So we all, they all kind of stood the same way. And what happens is that Milka Cabral, he, he died January 20th. So a lot of times people kind of tied up those, mm -hmm. both of them together because even though he was born, but he died that day, they all stood out the same, for the same thing, just in different country, different mm -hmm. place, different culture, but all, it was all the same message, which was fear and more better society. So this is the first time. This, this is, is the, the first, first yeah. maybe annual. Annually, See how that's it goes. our goal exactly. Now, Cape Verde Association has kind of broadened its mission over the years. Mm -hmm. I think there's a, a the a original name I can't say because I don't speak Creole. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I always saw it in Creole. So mm -hmm. just say, say it for me. Association Cape Verdean. There we go. Exactly. And, um, but it's Immigrant Assistance Center now. Yes. You've broadened the mission a little bit to help all people. Yeah, because we have people from different countries that come in and seek for services and help. So why not might as well make it official? We have like Haitians in our board. We have an African American in our board. If we realize that people at, this, at the end of the day, they want the same type of services, they look for the same type of resources, why not make it official? So this is, was another opportunity to show people that even though we're at the Cape Verdean Association, we primarily serve Cape Verdeans, but we're here for everybody. We don't discriminate. We're here to help anybody that comes in and looks for services. And you have programs for kids? Yes, so we have programs for kids. We, have, we do an after-school program for kids in grades 1 to 12. Mm -hmm. We have the summer program that takes over a place in the, over, over in the summer. We have a ESOL classes and citizenship classes for people that are here to you know, learn, improve their English, and also people that want to become U.S. citizens. So we do the applications. We also go over the civic test with them. Mm -hmm. uh, on a daily basis, not daily, weekly basis or so, we have about 40 people that come to the association just seeking for services, asking you know, help to fill a job application, a SNAP application, health care. It depends, depends on the services you know, and help they're looking for. We do that. We also have our events, and as you know, our festival that we do that, our gala dinner. Now we're, you know, Dr. King's event, we, something we want to do annually. And from time to time, we do community forums, like 
over the summer or so, not summer, this is January, so October, November, the date gets me messed up. Sure. We did like a forum on immigration. And over the summer, that's when we did about mental health. So what we're trying to do is more do like informational mm -hmm. sessions so people come in. Because what happens to us is a lot of times we come in here. It's a different culture. It's a different language. A lot of times we do things that here might not be acceptable, but for us it is acceptable because we don't know. We're just not informed. So a lot of times it's just a matter of prevention, letting people know what's going on. You know, even though it's fine in KVR, but here it's different, so you should do this instead of you know, not doing this. Just to give an example, for example, for us it's very normal, like, you know, a cousin, a nephew, or daughter to pick a, a child from school. Mm -hmm. It's something like very normal. You don't have to call to let them know something very normal. It has that. It has that fallacy that I mean, that fallacy that ideology that the community raises a child. It takes a whole community. So it's something very normal. But for us here, if anybody that's gonna come and pick up my child who's not in this, you have to call me. Let me know. Right. Right. And for us, really, it's just my cousin, my uncle, everybody's family. It doesn't make you first or fifth cousin. Everybody's family. I well, knowing Moses as long as I have. Right, he so. has more family than anybody I know on the planet. And yeah. as I've gotten to know other people and, and go, I mean, I think the festival every year is, yeah. it's the biggest event in Brockton. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely huge. I'll never forget when I was at City Hall Plaza and there wasn't a square foot of pavement left. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now it's over at the Arno School. It's gotten bigger and better every year. And you're right, your board is very diverse. I mean, yeah. Tony Branch is on the board, Marlene Amadeus exactly. is on the board. Oh, yeah. And that's, if you really think about it, that's what this whole country is all about. Now, we're all hearing Donald Trump is <laughs> unfortunately. But, uh, you know, if you look at Brockton, everybody does want the same thing. Everybody wants a good job. They want a good education. They want a good quality of life. You go from, you run the gamut though, from kids all the way, and you, there's a lot of programs exactly. for seniors too. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So Church have, is tied into it as exactly. well. Exactly, and we also have the contract with DCS to so work on you know, victims of domestic violence, abuse, and all those things too. So we also do that as well. So we, you know, we kind of try and serve you know, different areas, but our main hub is like the youth. Now tell us, your phone's working again. You had a little oh, unfortunate accident around uh, Christmas time, but give us the phone number, the website, and hours and things like that. Sure. So, so we are open Monday to Friday from 9 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock at night. Our phone number is 508 559 And our website is www.cvassociationwebs.com. And your Facebook page. And too. Facebook page is, it's in Portuguese, which is Cape Verde Association, yeah. which is Associação Cabo Verdeana. So what you do, if you put in English, a lot of times we'll link you to the page that's in Portuguese. There you go, Facebook. And I know, uh, you know, from seeing the pictures and hearing the mayor talking about his trips that he goes to Cape mm -hmm. Verde, President of Bridgewater State just went there. There's exactly. The, Pedro Perez, did exactly. I say it right? Yes. Institute over at Bridgewater State. Exactly. You guys have made a huge impact. We're happy that we have multiple programs on cable exactly. TV, which you're intricately involved in. And mm -hmm. Manny Andrade, who helped founded the association back mm -hmm. in the day. So I think this is a great addition to all the different programs that you have going. Exactly. Thank you. So here is the invitation. This is open to the public or anybody. It doesn't matter if you're Haitian, Cape Verde, Hispanic. This is a family day event. That's why we have uh, the section for the adults and for the kids. So we have an arts and craft of the kids while the parents can you know, sit down and listen to you know, Reverend Harris. Oh, I'm looking well. forward to being there. It's day three of all the activities and thanks for being on. Thank you, Mark. It's a pleasure. Same here. Mm -hmm. You're watching Greater Brockton. Stay tuned for more events, places, people and faces right here in the City of Champions.